Jack Monroe stood on the outskirts of Middletown's junkyard, a fortress of discarded relics, their shapes twisted in the afternoon sun. Rusting automobiles lay entwined with remnants of household items, forming an eerie tableau of human life. Moments of laughter, anguish, and mundanity surrendered to the passage of time. The whispering wind wound through the labyrinth of debris, its sigh echoing his inner turmoil. He saw himself in these abandoned things, used, battered, tossed aside. But where they lay dormant, he possessed a fierce spirit, fueled by resilience and a steadfast pursuit of redemption. He had been through his trials, the gnashing teeth of addiction, leaving scars deep within his soul. He stepped forward, his boots crunching on gravel as the junkyard gates creaked open. Within the heart of this seemingly ordinary place, beneath layers of rust and time, lay a mystery that beckoned him. Welcome, Detective Monroe, greeted Albert, the local historian. Albert's face was a roadmap of wrinkles, each line denoting a story, a forgotten chapter of Middletown's past. Jack respected Albert and often sought his wisdom when dealing with the town's myriad eccentricities. Albert, Jack acknowledged, what have we found? The historian led Jack to an excavation site marked off by the haphazard arrangement of old machinery. A curious object peeked out from the dirt, a structure certainly not natural, its geometries clashing with the surrounding chaos. Albert detailed his theory, explaining how this might be a part of an ancient settlement predating any known civilization in Delaware. Jack knelt, his fingers brushing the cold, time-worn surface of the structure. He felt a shiver travel up his spine, his heart quickening. His past had taught him to recognize this feeling, the stirring of an unseen enemy. I'll look into it, Albert. This place, he looked around, his gaze sweeping the vast expanse of the junkyard, has secrets buried deep. I'll make sure they see the light. As the sun set, casting elongated shadows that danced with the rusted relics, Jack found himself immersed in a sense of foreboding that clung to the air like a chill. With one last glance at the unearthed structure, he made his way back to the town, the whispering wind trailing behind. In the light of a new dawn, Jack returned to the junkyard. This time, it wasn't the rusting objects that called to him, but the ancient structure peering out from the earthen womb like a lost relic of time. As he delved into the excavation site, each shovel of dirt removed felt like a turn of a page in a book of ancient lore. His investigation drew the attention of curious townsfolk, but the junkyard remained a zone of apprehension. As they offered hesitant encouragement from the fringes, he felt the isolation weigh upon him. He realized that in his own way, he was as much a part of the junkyard as the forgotten artifacts around him. Each day, he unearthed more of the structure, its intricate carvings telling tales of a civilization unknown, its purpose shrouded in the fog of antiquity. Late into the nights, he pored over the unearthed symbols, their cryptic meanings turning his dreams into bizarre riddles of cosmic scope. Albert shared in Jack's fascination, bringing his wealth of local lore and historical knowledge to interpret the enigmatic markings. Through their deciphering sessions, Albert wove stories of forgotten peoples, their lives intrinsically tied with celestial forces, their rituals echoing a reverence for cosmic entities beyond human understanding. Some of these symbols, they point towards worship, or maybe fear, of something greater, Albert mused, his eyes reflecting the flickering candlelight. The revelation brought a chill down Jack's spine, the echo of old trauma resurfacing. The fear of the unknown, the uncontrollable, had been a specter in his life. Yet here he was, staring into the abyss of a long-lost civilization's horrors and wonders. It was overwhelming, yet oddly comforting. The past had been dark, but he had walked through it. He could do so again. As the moon once again claimed the sky, the town of Middletown fell into an uneasy sleep. The junkyard, a quiet sentinel, bore witness to a world in flux. Jack, shrouded in thought, looked upon the unearthed structure one last time before retiring. This was no longer just a case. It was a journey into the heart of human existence, a dance with the shadows of forgotten times. The echoes of a forgotten civilization were growing louder, resonating with the rhythmic beating of his heart 
pulling him deeper into a world where the ancient and the cosmic intertwined. Days turned into weeks, and Middletown found itself drawn into an uncanny twilight. An invisible veil of change had draped over the town, causing unease among its residents. Cats disappeared, crops withered overnight, and strange, fleeting shadows darted at the edges of vision. Jack recognized these not as random occurrences, but as threads weaving a tapestry of silent dread. In his heart, he felt a resonance with the anxiety that wrapped Middletown. It echoed his own past fears, his battle with addiction, the struggle of navigating through the shadows. This was a different darkness, though, one that connected the earthly with the cosmic. His days remained dedicated to the junkyard excavation, but his nights became haunted by the ominous signs that hung over Middletown. In the quiet solitude of his office, he immersed himself in the enigmatic symbols, his instincts drawing connections between the ancient civilization's cryptic lore and the unsettling events transpiring around him. Looks like we've woken up something from its slumber, Jack, Albert confessed during one of their late night sessions. The candlelight danced in his eyes, the flickering flames casting ghostly shadows on the walls. Jack looked up from his notes, the weary lines on his face deepening. I was hoping it wasn't the case, Albert, but it seems we've stirred a malevolent force linked to this ancient entity we've been uncovering. Despite the growing dread, Jack found a purpose in the unfolding chaos. His past had hardened him, honed him to face the darkness. And now Middletown needed him, needed his courage to face the impending shadow. Reality in Middletown began to warp as the cosmic entity stirred in its ancient slumber. Time seemed to dilate, with days passing in a blink and nights dragging on into eternity. Muted sunlight filtered through an unearthly haze, casting long, grotesque shadows that writhed and curled around corners. Jack felt the veiled hostility emanating from the depths of the unearthed structure. The town, once a symbol of serene predictability, was now a canvas for the otherworldly entity's malevolent artwork. His investigation had peeled back the veil on a reality far beyond human comprehension, exposing Middletown to the gnashing teeth of the cosmic abyss. During one late night study session, Albert's voice trembled as he read from an old dusty tome. It speaks of a celestial being, one that traverses through dimensions, sowing seeds of chaos in its wake. Its awakening signals a time of profound change. Jack looked out his office window, the sight of Middletown shrouded in an uncanny twilight making his heart clench. This was his fight, his addiction resurfacing in the form of a cosmic entity. The ghost of his past struggles guided him, his resolve hardening. We won't let it take over, Albert. This town is stronger than it knows. The unearthed structure, now completely visible, stood like an alien monolith amidst the junkyard's chaos. People reported hearing dissonant whispers emanating from it, warping their dreams into cryptic nightmares. As the sinister events escalated, Jack found himself thrust into the role of Middletown's protector. Each day was a fight against the unseen, a struggle against the invading cosmic presence. He stood firm, his spirit unbroken despite the madness that threatened to drown him. One evening, as he ventured into the depths of the junkyard, he felt a palpable shift in the air. The whispers grew louder, the shadows darker. Something was happening. The cosmic entity was reaching out. Overhead, stars blinked out one by one, leaving the sky dark, mirroring the dread that settled in his heart. He stared at the monolith, its cold, alien surface pulsating with an energy that hummed in his veins. He felt his fears, past and present, meld into one towering monstrosity. Yet he faced it, just as he had faced his own demons. The town slept uneasily, and he stood vigil, a solitary figure against the cosmic awakening. He had walked through the depths of his personal hell and emerged stronger. He was ready to guide Middletown through its darkest hour. In the blackened heart of the Middletown night, the cosmic entity stirred. It was a shadow, a whisper, a vibration that resonated through the very fabric of the town. Its awakening tore through the veil of reality, 
exposing the populace to the unfathomable vastness of the cosmic realm. Jack stood at the edge of the junkyard, his gaze fixed on the pulsating monolith. The unearthly structure, the harbinger of the entity's arrival, seemed to undulate under the starless sky, its surface rippling like a dark ocean under a moonless night. Jack, Albert's voice crackled over the radio. His words were punctuated by static, the electrical interference, a testament to the entity's influence. Remember, whatever happens, stay grounded. This is your town, your reality. As he stepped towards the monolith, Jack felt an electric shiver of fear. Yet beneath the raw terror, there was determination, the unyielding resilience that had carried him through the darkest corners of his past. I understand, Albert, he replied, his voice steady despite the cosmic maelstrom unfolding around him. He approached the monolith, its whispered promises and threats intertwining in a symphony of chaos. It felt familiar, an echo of his past struggles, the temptation and the terror of addiction. He reached out, his hand almost touching the cold pulsating surface. Just then he felt a surge of emotion. Memories flooded back, the loneliness of his childhood, the terror of his abuse, the pain of addiction, the strength of recovery. This was his fight, the climax of his journey. The cosmic entity was no different from his past demons. It was an intruder, a menace, a darkness that sought to snuff out the light of his world. And just like he had done before, he would stand his ground. He met the entity's silent roar with a quiet defiance, a reaffirmation of his reality. You don't belong here, he whispered into the void, his words resonating with the strength of his conviction. The monolith shuddered, the entity's whispers turning into a dissonant wail. Yet as the night gave way to the first rays of dawn, the ominous structure began to dissolve. The entity, faced with Jack's indomitable spirit, was retreating, its cosmic dread diminishing under the brightening sky. As the sun rose, bathing Middletown in a comforting glow, the junkyard returned to its mundane chaos. The townsfolk woke from their eerie dreams to a familiar world, the shadow of the cosmic horror fading into a distant memory. Jack, forever changed, emerged from the junkyard, the silent sentinel of a town that had peered into the abyss and survived. He bore the scars of his cosmic encounter, a testament to his resilience and the power of human spirit against the inscrutable cosmic horror. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe to our channel where you can find more similar stories and click on the bell icon to never miss one. There is plenty more cosmic horror to come from the Eldritch Tales factory. Stay tuned and until next time.